wanasema kutembea kwingi ndio kuona mengi na leo hasa na Ron tumetembea mpaka county 47 tuko maeneo ya Hallingham, Kilimani, Lipi Suburbs wanasema. Nataka tutaka kuongea leo na mtu wa Manail ama Nail Polish. Anaitwa Sydney the Nail Guy. Ochungulo family walisema si urembo ni makeup but the particular guy that we want to talk today on the show yani show ya mahasla na nasemanga kila siku watu peanangi zilbaro anaitwa Sydney the nail guy tunataka najua tuongee na yeye kwa sababu wako industry yenye watu wanasemanga ni ya mama so to say <laughs> so today we want to talk to Sydney the nail guy Sydney mam inakuwa ni sababu najua anasema mkishasalimiana tunasani tai sa nice lazima ama nimekozea mingi hiyo ndio tu so sydney yes kila siku kwa show before tuanze officially lazima yes. tujue majina zako za kipande za kipande majina za kipande si za kazi si za kazi i thought tuko kazi tunafanya majina za kazi <laughs> za kipande <laughs> majina za kipande ni sydney mm. kari obach sydney kari obach ama obach obach yes so yani Ijina Sydney the nail guy ili kama out of where ama uli uliamua aje yani sasa acha nijite Sydney the nail guy Sydney the nail guy um, nikiwa job nikianzia CBD mm-hmm. you know the way clients wanakutafuta mm-hmm. wanasema nail guy wako ni nani uh. ama mkipatana na client anywhere in the street anaambia their friends this is my nail guy <laughs> so I decided <laughs> yes i'm the guy you are the guy yes the nail guy the nail guy now that's why it came up sasa so, like um I, i'm sure you know this watu wengi mm. usemanga ati the beauty industry so to say See, i think mm. this is still in the beauty industry yeah this is still beauty industry it's run by women like when oh. you were starting off mm. did that ever become an issue for you ati naingia kwa industry ya mama or something no uh, basically kuna nikianza for nails there mm. were not so many guys though Mm-hmm. but hair ilikuwa already watu men walikuwa shine it straight hiyo nini hiyo market mm-hmm. so haikuwa ngumu vile mm-hmm. then at that time because we were less guys kila mtu alikuwa anasema eh hey, mimi nataka kutengenezwa na chali mimi nataka kutengenezwa na chali oh. then now the competition ikakuwa so stiff for mm-hmm. women actually sasa hii naona ni kama tuko karibu ku face out ladies <laughs> <laughs> the nail industry the nail industry so um Niko sure was this uh, the career path that you thought maybe uki 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 uki, uki grow up nini ulikuwa unafikiria maybe you'll end up in this industry no no no, no no it was like my third not even my third hata ikuwa hata ikuwa nikifikiria so my third option ilikuwa hair hair so when i joined the beauty industry i actually wanted to do hair mm-hmm. nikaingia nikasema nikapata eh, i was out of college mm-hmm. unapata kuna job na nini nikasema acha niende nifanye nywele kidogo mm-hmm. hiyo ndio naona iko busy mm-hmm. nikaingia nikaenda college kwenda college ya beauty nikapata hair is expensive because i wanted to pay for myself okay. nikapata beauty ni cheaper mm-hmm. so i paid for beauty nikasema i'll grow Yeah. kwenda hea pole pole kufika kwa nails nikapata by the time natoka shule niko na client yeah. nikaendelea tu hivyo hivyo yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like um the, the initial one because you know african parents wana kuanga mm. sasa nyingine mm. mzazi anaweza kuwa ai mimi kwa nyumba yangu uenda kutengeneza sijui nini true nini. true what did they want you to study true true my mom thinks ninge make a very good uh, head teacher ama principal wa high school <laughs> So in short you want to become a teacher. <laughs> the, uh, my mom yeah. Uh. My dad alikuwa an expect ni ko engineer mm-hmm. but sasa mimi ni engineer wa makucha. Uh, yeah. Okay. I never studied it. Never <laughs> studied that material. It's okay. Um so um the 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 the, the actual like um what can I call it? Mm. Um kitu lienda kusomea shuleni. Uh, ya kwanza before ya you kwanza to, nilikuwa nimeingia Kenya Poly deep ya architecture architecture yeah so in short ungekuwa tu ni engineer bado bado kichoba kiko mbali kiko mbali kiko mbali eh uh-huh, alafu sasa how did you transition paka the transition came uh, i was in my second year mm-hmm. nikakuwa na medical condition ama issue naweza sema uh-huh. it took me out for a year or so and then when i came back Uh, Kenya Poly was changing to Nairobi University. Mm-hmm. Now they wanted me to restart afresh. I was already tired week from hospital for like 
six months or so, uh-huh. nilikuwa nimechoka tu nikasema let me do something light. Mm. Nianzie tu kitu light tu and then I think about going back to school. Mm. That's how I went to beauty school nikakuwa stuck. Oh, mm. so like the, the decision you made to go to beauty school did not sit well with your parents. It didn't. I don't think uh, kama my dad my dad but maybe the ajaona the fruits fully mm. but with beauty, it's a time investment. You invest a lot of time because kuku are known, you take time. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, so make your name out there, mm-hmm. then now you can start getting those fruits. So, so and I think so far, so good. Yeah. Mm. Um, sasa vile ulimaliza ukenda kole a beauty, and then you finish, tukasema, already by the time ulikuwa natoka kole, ulikuwa na client. Yeah. So the first challenge yenye uli, uli, ulipata after umetoka kuolewa unajua unaweza kuwa na client but una place unaweza kuwa una platform yeah the, the, the problem usually comes in joining the other guys in the industry because every time una join maybe another salon like now even new guy comes kuna hiyo challenge ya ku compete with those guys who have been in the industry yes when you are uh-huh. now it's fighting for your space uh-huh. and fighting for your space means unaweza kuwa unanyanganya watu client uh-huh. mtu anaona job yako so kuna hizo struggles za kuingia kwa industry but see, competing see, with those guys who have been there by who know the game umanisha uh, till unakuja mande fast unajua kuja kuja now it's it's about your job una focus on your job paka mm-hmm. client anasema eh hey, next time when i come i want to i want, to, I want that guy oh. to make my nails yes okay so you got you got into the salon unaweza kumuka salon ya kwanza yenye ulifanyia kazi salon ya kwanza zilikuwa hizo za Kenya cinema ngumu <laughs> kaya sida maili kwa ngumu so ulienda pale na CV ama ulienda tu kaambia mimi najua kutaenza makucha ni pesa no nilienda huko i think uh, it's someone who introduced me to that lady mm-hmm. nikaenda huko akan interview kidogo kidogo normally by the with beauty industry uh-huh. rarely your paper selfie rarely ni kazi tu ni kazi tu eh ni kazi tu oh so unaweza kumbuka mshahara wako wa kwanza I think tulikuwa tunalipwa na commission every day unapata mm. unapata 600 bob yeah. 300 bob because unapewa unapata job ni ni 1000 mm-hmm. for example then mm-hmm. you are given commission made 30% 30% of 30%. 30%. 30%. so ukipata clients wawili mm-hmm. so unapata commission ya hizo unapata maybe umeenda home na 800 bob siku nyingine una client unaenda kama umeje watu eyebrows peke yake na ukuna 40% commission eyebrows ilikuwa so una pata 40 bob hiyo ni fair we unaenda home at that time ulikuwa unaishi wapi that time nilikuwa naishi kibera ah unaishi kibera lazima mwanaume kibera kibera yenyewe ofor ambao kwa maana you know the reason mostly unapata unaanzia that far wakati mm-hmm. umemake small blunders mm-hmm. you don't want to ask your parents for help oh yeah 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 I so hizo struggles zako tu unaenda tu tulikuwa tuko kibera tunaishi watu wanne hivi kwa room kwa room yeah like watu wanne kwa room single room single room eh mulikuwa mnalipa rent ya pesa ngapi ilikuwa 6k so kila mtu alikuwa anatoa like 1500 1500 yeah. 6k lakini at that time so mkilala mnalala <laughs> at least ilikuwa inaingia hadi seat so wengine walikuwa wanalala kwa seat but usually it's a struggle hizo ndio vitu zenye zinatufunza vile actually nikilipa hata yodo ya beauty school nilikuwa napika chapo with one of my friends hapo kibeka hivi hivi una spin match hapo spin match hapo tuna zero ah hivyo sasa hii ukiaza ingia ingia nikasema sasa hii inaweza imesha so you saved from pesa ya chapo ndio kaenda nayo chuo ndio nikaenda nayo beauty school eh so hapo umeanza kwa uh, salon za Kenya Cinema nikatoka nikakaa Kenya Cinema and then mm-hmm. I, I tried my luck in Halingam mhm hizo Kilimani area but Kilimani area the, the problem was it didn't give me the challenge i expected like mm-hmm. unajua iko na the same clientele mm-hmm. they do the same thing akikuja kusema nipake color red it's the same thing you will do over and over, over and over, over. Mm-hmm. there's no you don't get that challenge here yeah, mm-hmm. ku aim higher mm-hmm. so that's when i moved to cbd kufanya job na tony airo tony who? tony airo tony airo mm. okay i don't think i've ever heard of him yeah he's a hairstylist oh yeah he also has products 
So um, I'm, I'm very sure uh, mm. whatever you're doing, Sai, na kitulikuwa unafanya kitambo, it may evolve from some of the pictures I have seen, it may evolve. Uh, Lazima you evolve, like beauty industry, it evolves every year. Mm -hmm. Like what we are doing now, the next three, four months, maybe it's out of market. Mm -hmm. Like we started with acrylic, to kind of you need builder gel, to kakuja gel. Because when we started, even this gel was not available. In Malaysia, like six years on, or, or five. Okay, yeah. gel, at I, 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 Now there's a difference. Gel, like gel, you know, gel una pack like in a last, like you have to use a, a UV lamp and then it lasts like a month. Mm -hmm. Then there's the normal polish which you apply in a mm -hmm. kauka yenyewe, so which can last polish. maybe a week or two. Q-Tex. Q-Tex, that's how you Yeah, what is it? Q-Tex. So it's nail polish. It's nail what polish. Is nail mm. polish. Q-Tex was Q -tex. actually a brand. A mm. brand? Yeah, it was a brand. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, it's like the same thing we usually say, um, any any powdered soap, niomo. Niomo, yeah. Any, any, Omo any, any aerial. best, ni colgate. Ni pear colgate, yeah, yeah, fresh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. So Q-Tex was like, okay. Mimi hata it was more like a brand, yeah. Mm. Beauty na evolve, like every day, beauty in a letter, there's a new product in the market. So you have to keep yourself up to date. Mm -hmm. You have to know the new product. You have to know the new styles, the new techniques making work easier, what will last longer, every time. It's so, a learning process. Um, you, went, you went back to CBD, you can work na Tony. So, ili, uli, uli, like, what was the journey from there? I think maybe, kutoko kondo uli rudi, the only no shift own place. that I started in my own place. Yeah. Okay, so how, how did it? Norm go? Normally, the challenge is when you work with someone, you work with their own program. Mm -hmm. You can't be your own person. Mm -hmm. uh, like, Wezi grom when you want to do this and a this one cannot work. Mm. And yet maybe we the una jua the new things that are coming in the market, yeah. the new challenges kit when you attack a client. Mm -hmm. That process lazimo if I know we move and then now you can be challenging yourself with the clients now and be a eh, kuna iki tumpi. Eh, let's do let's try, try this. Uh -huh. Let's do appointments. Mm -hmm. Let's not work like walking. Working, unakuja tu, unakuja tu. Ni, ni tengeneze kuja. You are able to control your schedule. Mm -hmm. mm. So, did you, um, uli, uli save, ndi uka kuja huku, ama... Eh, hey, kusave lazima. Kusave lazima. Wacha ni kuambi hivi. When very few people trust in what you are doing, mm -hmm. it's so hard for someone to invest with you. Mm -hmm. So, you have to invest in your by yourself, life. yes. Oh, um, so, Ivo, in Amanisha, you tried asking maybe some of your friends to under transition. Yeah, to... unajua, the problem is when people see that your job is improving, everybody wants a partnership. Mm -hmm. But nobody, very few people, when I was a support worker, shika ido, mm. fanya job, pala futa ni rutishia. Mm. Most people, unajua ni kama saa zile, tuseme umetengeneza a certain brand imefika level of yeah. Now, people want to be associated with, with, that with the brand, uh -huh. yes. And now, akitaka kuku join, mm -hmm. they want like a 20% of the brand. Mm -hmm. The problem is, ukimchuku at this level, it means anytime you grow, bado pia 20% yake ina grow. I saw ina kuwa constant, maybe mm -hmm. in the next 20 years. Mm -hmm. Because now, they are part of the brand, which are poor from the start. Mm -hmm. mm. And unajua, everybody knows, it's, it's, it's evident. Kila mtu unajua, mm -hmm. like, ukiamua uki kwanza fresh. But in as much as we'll come and make some steps, mm. yes, maybe we may save nini, but we'll come and Kwanza fresh by day, we'll come to struggle because anytime you change location, you lose like 20% of the clients. So how was it for you? Will it happen again? Uh, the first move, mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. but I was ready. I was ready to lose a few clients because when I moved to my new place, it was really tiny. Mm -hmm. So I was clients to lose clients. I was able to say, my age, this place is suffocating. <laughs> Uh, we have a bigger salon here in a nichok bana hapa. Sidney, fungua madirisha, sayi hata dirisha hakuna. So ili kwa ngumu, because uki change location, kuna wale klanta wata fika that location. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Na kuna wale wanaboeka, like, they just uh -huh. don't want to, a new place, they don't want to try another place. Another place. They don't know service is the person, it's mm -hmm. not the place. That's mm. a new one I've gotten. Mm. Service is the person. Not the place. Yes. So Sydney, um, apa sahi paka mali umefika sahi, we've had some of the challenges nini. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the best moments in your life? Hey, kwa kwa hii industry. Hii industry maze best moments ni every time nikimaliza job, yani ukiangalia tu hivi, like you sit back and uh, say, ah, nice. 
transformation. transformation. Unapata watu wamekula kucha, amesna mm-hmm. on them. Mm-hmm. And then you do a good job unaangalia hivi kila mtu tu anakuwa tu mesmerize data client ukiona kifanya fanya hivi. Unasema tu hapo iko sawa. Sign language yende mbele. Unafanyanga wanaume. Unatembea wanaume kwa kifanya. Squeeze even ni kug hata siji mbona nilikusalimia hapo ndio mwisho <laughs> so siwezi kuja nikwambie seed nitengeneze makucha so i don't you know? I agree. Mm. okay apart from um kutengeneza makucha what else do you do like in your place uh, my place i we still growing you mm-hmm. tunataka ku introduce makeup uh, mm-hmm. facials waxing mm-hmm. but for me when you do beauty industry you unakuwa diverse like i know mm-hmm. how to do everything the course you do everything mm-hmm. from waxing from massage mm-hmm from facials hizo zote unapata unajua so it's about expansion now okay so mm. see maybe kuna mse uko home maybe a man mm. for that matter anataka maybe kuingia industry but kuna ile ati hapo ah, ni kuna madem mama in industry hawachana nini you know maybe atajui kuna ndo ama I, I, I don't think squeeze kuna industry yenye unaweza sema ni agenda sijui this, this gender this kuna wana ume kormans ukia magundu hiyo ni ile inaitwa tunaweza sema wako na mental chains kujifungia mm. tu bure so unaweza wapatia advice gani like if you have the passion go for it if you have the passion mm-hmm. for the job go for it mtu asikwambia ati this is for this gender this is you can't make it mm-hmm. always there's also those struggles zenye unapata za kwanza kwanza mm-hmm. but uki set up your mind it took me like six years to just put my name out there six years six years so how long has it been in the industry up until now i think it's now seven years seven years mm. so the nail guy imekuja sasa sasa yeah at least like uh, what i'm happy with is mm. Uh, every time people try to mention what when you are your name pops out oh, okay nice that's nice. the point of being now you, you can say you are in the same level mm-hmm. now wale nail text when you are mm. putting your name on it kuna tunazanga pesa ngapi si mingi na si kidogo but you like you get paid ikwe mo ikwe mo uwezi on uona kitu umekalia ni lab <laughs> so today we're going to pick a story na Sydney the nail guy kutoka hapa Hallingham yeah yes, Hallingham hapa ni Hallingham Kilimani yes yeah. Kilimani Hallingham yes. yes so ametuchapia story yake ametuambia vile alianza bila alikuwa anatengeneza makucha na lipa 40 bob kwa siku unajua walikuwa wanaishi watu sita kwa singuru well imekuwa ni Nairobi <laughs> Nairobi si rahisi <laughs> inahitaji moyo kujituma unajua until the next episode maze tuchekiane na mzidi kujituma maze